You know, the more I learn about upper cervical care, I, I do get more excited the more I understand about it. But the thing that really blew my mind is when I learned about retracing, which is such a, an amazing phenomena. Um, but the more I understand about it, the more I realize that this is natural healing. And as we remove any interference from the brainstem, as, as the doctor removes that and the nerve system begins to operate properly, naturally, without drugs, um, some strange phenomena can take place. Yeah, you know, most people have never been through a real healing process. Um, you know, you have symptoms through life, let's say headaches, low back pain, whatever. Okay, well, typically you'll take a medication. Okay, right. well, no medication in the history of mankind, as you know, have ever healed anything. Sure. They just temporarily cover the symptom up giving the body enough time to adapt or compensate to whatever is causing that problem. Well, this happens over your lifespan. And so when you get to uh, under upper cervical care, you actually go through a real healing process. And it's not just a healing of whatever brought you in. It's a total healing. Um, so over that time, you may heal back through some of those things that have affected you earlier in your life that never really got correct. It just got right. kind of smoothed over, okay? Wow. So you might have symptoms uh, that uh, you haven't had in 10 years that could all of a sudden pop up as your body starts to go through mm. these these, these healings. And so it can be scary, can it, really? Yeah. And and But it's temporary, right? It's not like you're gonna continue to have this experience take place. Right, but. I would say typically it lasts one to two days up to uh, you know maybe a couple weeks, but it's not gonna be anything that's gonna knock you out, but it could be you know some rough edges you get through, but the good thing about it is once you get through it this time, you know, right. you've healed over it, it's over with. Right, and so you need to be aware of this because when you go in, even after your first correction, it could happen immediately. You can start having experiences or pain or discomfort, um, or maybe it'll take a month or two and people start to have this. And so the reason we wanted to talk to you about it was because you need to be aware of this this um, so that you're ready when you go in for your first correction. Retracing is like, you know, you leave your house in the morning, you're going to work. So you get in your car and you go through a sequence of events to get to work. You might pass a couple of hotels, a couple of McDonald's, and you get to work. So when you come home, you actually backtrack and go through that same sequence, maybe backwards, you pass the same hotels, pass that McDonald's again to get back to your house. Health is kind of the same way. Disease is kind of the same thing. Your, your body's either doing one of two things. It's either getting healthier or it's getting sicker. And so usually, once people are sick and they enter an upper cervical doctor's office and we basically remove that subluxation and turn the life switch here on, what happens is your body, once it was healthy, you know, when you were born, you were healthy and, and you got disease. So as we turn that life switch on, your body's gonna go backtrack through those sequence of events through life again. So once you start out healthy, maybe when you were 10, you had headaches. Maybe when you were 20, you had fibromyalgia. When you were, when you were 40, you had uh, leg pain. So as you go back through those events and your body repairs and changes, it's, uh, you might experience that, that change again. You might experience that leg pain temporarily or, or that, temp that fibromyalgia type symptom ter temporarily as your body backtracks or goes through that sequence of events again to get back to 100% health. So retracing is actually a, a, a unique phenomena in, in, in the process of regaining your health. We have patients all the time, I could tell you story after story, of tennis players that come in that rotate, rip their rotator cuff up 20 years ago, have a surgery, you get them corrected and they come in a week later and say, I don't know and I don't explain to them retracing the first visit. I don't know what you did to me, but five days after I was adjusted, all of a sudden my rotator cuff started bothering me. And you know the funny thing? 20 years ago I had a rotator, rotator cuff injury and I'm feeling that same pain. And not only do I hurt in that area, I am emotionally feel like I'm back and it's almost like a flashback. You'll hear this. He had severe migraine headaches for, for months and of course went to all these different specialists and weren't able to get help. Well, he came to me for that and did not even mention that he had lower back issues 20 years ago because obviously that was not an issue. Um, so as we were correcting his spine, let's say his head was tilting this way, his shoulder is tilting this way and his lower back was tilting. Well, he had an injury 20 years ago for this lower back um, that his body has just compensated over the years. At the time, he didn't have lower back problems. The, the pain was he was presenting with migraines. Well, as we got the body back aligned, his head got straighter, his shoulders got straighter, and his legs got balanced, which means his pelvis was realigning, and the lower back pain came back. And it was, um, I just explained to him, well, as his body was readjusting, it never healed properly 20 years ago. So finally, the body was able to, as the brain was sending the messages down to the lower back, was able to heal that lower back, and he was able to recover not just from his migraines, but that reoccurring injury that he had from his lower back. 
upper cervical and the human body is more than just pain and symptoms. Every single experience you've had in your life is stored in your central nerve system. Emotions, physical pain, events. So we don't just see physical things happen in our office. In fact, the most profound things I see in my office are people with emotional disturbances. And the very thing that was missing was this idea of the structural misalignment, the stress on the nervous system, and how that affects me on that feeling, emotional, and mental level, not just the physical. So with retracing, it's not just physical experiences, but it's emotional as well. Right. Um, most people don't realize, but the brain is really just an organ, just like the okay. liver, lungs, kidneys, hearts. Okay, it's innervated by the nerve system. Um, when you have a, a thought process or an emotion or memory or something like that, it doesn't. Just, it's not just a spark going off in a, in, in a part okay. of your brain and it stays there. It actually travels. Okay, this is in any neuroanatomy book. It'll start in one part of the brain. It'll travel down to that brain stem, and then the brain stem, like the switchboard operator, will send it to the part of the brain that's to interpret that message. Okay, so boom, boom over here. Okay, so. If, if one of those bones had been misaligned and interferes with that mental transmission from one part right. of the brain to another part of the brain, then um, then it can interfere with that, um, for example, emotion. And let's say, you know, uh, let's say it was uh, a, a feeling of sadness or something. Okay. You know, that message never got fully expressed. Okay, so if you were to go in and, and you were to remove that interference, all of a sudden you might have a mad rush of a, of a certain emotion wow. um, that, that is affected. And the person, you know, has no, no explanation to like, you know, I, 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 nothing made me sad, but I can't quit crying. Sure. Or nothing made me happy, but I can't, can't quit laughing. And so you're saying even after that first correction, like right when that, it can happen immediately sometimes? It can happen immediately. Sometimes uh, sometimes it, it doesn't happen for weeks or even months later. Wow. But, uh, you know, as part of the healing process, sometimes you release some of those emotions that, have ne that, that had not been previously released. So sadness, joy even? Exactly. I mean, one of the most memorable things I, uh, that happened to me in my office was one day uh, a person came and got the very first correction. I took them out in my office. I have a rest area where you lay down for a few minutes to make sure that we, we got the correction. And, and so I walked out there and she'd been laying down I walked out there and there's 10 people laying down and they're all just belly laughing and I walked down like what is going on wow. well the one patient said I don't know she said but I just can't quit laughing and you know laughing is contagious right. so once she started you know it dominoed everybody in the whole place was just dying laughing uh, unbelievable and it just happened after a first correction boom that comes back first you know it's it's a it's a strange phenomenon but it's it's natural and you know, a lot of people obviously don't know about you know what what it means for your body to naturally heal itself, but it's it's temporary, right? I mean, you're not going to be experiencing right. this forever. It, typically, it'll happen within the first two or three uh, corrections, or possibly even two or three weeks down the road. But it only lasts, um, you know. Sometimes it'll last for a few minutes, up to uh, you know maybe a week or so, mm. um, you know, depending on what type of uh, retracing it is and how long you'd had it previously. Unbelievable. So that's what we got. We got to talk about that because you need to understand what's happening before you go in because it can be a shock to people, uh, but that is uh, the amazing phenomena of retracing.